Good Sunday afternoon, folks. Keith here with my 94 Project Trans Am build. Uh, I'm just going to do a short video of me rambling on about what I got left to do, uh, what parts I'm waiting on, and uh, that sort of thing. So, what I'm waiting on for this car is uh, intake manifold to be completed uh, by my engine builder over at Golden Engines. He's uh, doing my intake for me, port and polish and decking, and installing the Bosch 36 power injectors. And uh, once that, once I get that back, I can bolt that in the car and take the cover off, take the bag off the motor, and start the next process, which is going to be the transmission build, which I'm going to have built by uh, performance built transmissions out of PA. For L60, I'm only doing a level three because I'm going naturally aspirated for now, so I'm doing about 550 horse roughly. And um, once I get that done and built and get it back, I put it in the car, and then I'm gonna tear the front end back apart again to do the LS swap with the front brakes, the rotors, and uh, new power steering rack. Uh, new uh, Russell brake brake lines for the 98 to 02 LS style F body. So as I'm waiting for parts, as you can see, I've been doing some interior painting with the SEM Land All Black, which the whole inside of my car will be kind of like a two tone from the factory pewter gray and the Land All Black color. So it'll be like a nice two-tone, which is, so far it's coming out really good. So, I guess as I'm waiting for parts, kind of messing around with my interior pieces, I run all ARP bolts through the whole entire engine build, top to bottom. So, got ARP bolts waiting for my parts to come in. And, uh, that's that. I got the car painted. Last, a couple months ago in 67 Corvette Tuxedo Black. I'm looking, gonna be buying a Ram Air Hood 96 to 97. That's why I didn't have this hood painted because it's coming off. So I got some work in the progress here of what I'm doing with this as far as the build goes along. I've been building it now for four years. This was a total full out balloon apart car that I bought, drove it home. Started blowing it apart right down to the bare subframe. Started fresh. So, that being said, it's a work in progress. I've been building it now for going on four years. And uh, it just takes time. I'm a one person guy. I do it all myself. I mean, I don't, I don't offer nobody's, nobody, I don't want nobody's help. I just, just how I am. I build my own car, my way, my time. Between work and family and kids and stuff. Just, uh, Roll one day at a time is how I roll around here, you know. We're slow and steady. You know, the OCD and me and stuff's got to be really, really pretty much spot on. Um, it's about pretty much it for now. I mean, we're going in almost the end of August already. I still got a little bit of ways to go. I think once the transmission's done and the motor's done, I think everything else will be downhill as far as the drive shaft. I want to go to carbon fiber drive shaft. Um, Still thinking about putting a six-point cage in it down the road just for extra stiffness for the chassis. This isn't a drag car. I'm not going to be beating the shit out of my car. It's just going to be a nice cruiser. Go to car meets, take it to the track once in a while, see what it runs. Um, it'll be a little fun little summer toy, you know. That's, that's what I'm building it for. So, other than that, taking one. I got some parts coming in this week. Some odds and ends I'm waiting on, so I can. Uh, install my gauge pods that I got. Um, still waiting a couple lines to come in so I can hook up the gauge pods for the water temperature and oil pressure. Uh, other than that, stay tuned and uh, go over there, see what we do next.